What's up, guys? It's your Loot Up the Great. Back with another video. Back in with another commentary video. And this in particular caught my eye as I was scrolling on Twitter. This wasn't something that I was expecting for it to be some sort of argument and debate whether or not someone's in the right or someone's in the wrong but it's more of just an opinion of a well-known youtuber had with another well-known youtuber that took their opinion very personal and personally they got offended and felt like that opinion was disrespectful to them now what i'm talking about is jacepticeye's opinion to mr beast when tommy in it who was a minecraft youtuber invited his friends tubbo jack manifold and jacksepticeye to participate in the lie detector test once again this wasn't something that neither tommy in it tubbo jack manifold would hear from jacksepticeye asking if he hates mr beast so tommy in it asked jacksepticeye these three questions one which was obviously do you hate mr beast he says yes then after it was found truthful jack manifold cringes and it's just in like in mental pain like just expressing the face like ooh. Oh, that's such a hot take. The second question was, do you think Mr. Beast ruined YouTube? Jacksepticeye says yes. Turns out that his statement was truthful. And then Jack Manifold just says another groan of pain, like mental pain of, oh, that's such a hot take once again. Tommy and then asked the third question, why do you think that? Then Jacksepticeye says, because it's more of views, money, and popularity than actually having fun doing it. Turns out that what he said was true. Now Jack Manifold intervenes and says, Well, at least he had fun playing Squid Games. At least he had at least he did that. And then Jack Septicai said, If he had fun with making these videos, it could have been a lot longer. We could see the fun from him doing that. And I'm not gonna lie, that's a pretty hot take being said from Jack Septicai. Like neither YouTuber you could think of can make a hot take and say that publicly have no shame on it it's more of like valid criticism but it kind of like doesn't make sense but it kind of makes sense and then the fourth question was is there a youtuber that you hate and then jacepticeye says i don't know there's just a lot of groomers and pedophiles on our platform i'm not gonna lie his response made me laugh too because it is it's legit that true we got like probably over a dozen youtubers that have been caught red-handed and are still making like at least 20 bucks on youtube even though they were caught and it got canceled so that section of tommy in his video was a 43 second clip being posted by wolf master the third with the tweet saying jack the guy having beef with mr beast was not on my 2023 bingo card and before we look at the response i want to talk about how unironic it is for jack the guy mr beast and tommy in his name being shown the twitter trending tab so here's mr beast's response to the 43 second clip so i quote unquote ruined youtube because i didn't buy a mansion and sports cars and instead reinvested my money into making content slash focus on doing good and inspiring kids to help people quote if he had fun the videos would be longer what does that even mean lol you think i'd give up every hour of my life for 14 years if i didn't have fun skull emoji this clip is insanely disrespectful in my opinion and obviously there is so much i could say about his content but i'll just take the punches and be the bigger man sigh i mean as you can see mr beast took that criticism so personal that he made a three sentence paragraph as a response now in my opinion i feel like when jacepticeye said mr beast ruined youtube because there's a bunch of copycats that copy mr beast like his thumbnails the way he does but like in a very unethical and unorganized way and most of these mr beast copycats it's, it's more of just a content being forced instead of actually being genuine when they're making the videos i mean there's been like a whole list of mr beast copycats all right and i feel like mr beast did ruin youtube but not because like oh he's doing this he's doing that i mean mr beast gets canceled for doing good things which doesn't make any sense by the way in my opinion i feel like mr beast ruined youtube because there's a bunch of mr beast copycats that try to copy his style and ended up getting caught in the crossfire of controversy in the making of trying to be like him and after those tweets were made everybody on twitter was responding fast mr beast goes off on jacepticeye after he said mr beast ruined youtube quote this clip is insanely disrespectful
disrespectful. Jacepticeye, I think Mr. Beast viewers are kinda bad and might have changed YouTube for the worse. Mr. Beast, and it's just uh, the biggest paragraph thread you've ever seen made by Dream. And this was a response that Dream did after he copied a mod on Minecraft and got caught for it. So this is basically like a mockery of Dream's cancellation, like basically making fun of Dream, making fun of Beast as well. Even the Certo hopped in and said, Jacepticeye thinks Mr. Beast ruined YouTube. Quote, if he had fun doing those videos, they'd be longer. Optimus, who was another commentary YouTuber, responds to the tweet saying, It's actually weird because Jacepticeye is also a YouTube veteran and he knows damn good and well Mr. Beast was not the beginning of this being about money and views, LMAO. I can immediately think of two dozen creators that came before Mr. Beast that clearly prioritized these. And I found a tweet that either copied or had the same mindset with the tweet saying, Jacepticeye, I think Mr. Beast's videos are kind of bad and might have changed YouTube for the worse, Mr. Beast, and it's the same joke. Jacepticeye, yeah, Mr. Beast did do some damage to YouTube. Mr. Beast responds, and it's just an old video of Mr. Beast being edgy. Even Dixerto once again, quote, there's so much I can say about his content, but I'll just take the punches and be the bigger man. Mr. Beast replied calling Jacepticeye's video insanely disrespectful. I know I'm gonna sound like that meme of the nerd emoji putting up his glasses with his big teeth, but you got one job. One job job you didn't look you didn't even analyze it you're gonna call it jacksepticeye's video this is tommy in its video all you could have done was do your research search up the four channels of tommy in it tubbo jack manifold jacksepticeye see who posted it and say oh wow tommy in it posted a video you didn't even search up the channel you just say oh this is jacksepticeye's video all right put a jacksepticeye's video i bet you five dollars that the intern of the Cerato is looking stupid right now but yeah it's weird for jacksepticeye out of any you youtuber you could think of have an opinion about mr beast that is like it, it, it's a hot take i'll tell you that but it, it makes sense of why he thinks that way now i know a lot of people are gonna be offended to jack guy's statement of why he doesn't like mr beast being asked that question while using a lie detector and tommy in this video but for me since i've been a fan of jack guy since like maybe back since 2014 2016 i really don't think that's gonna make me unsubscribe from him i feel like like his hot take kind of makes sense but it's also like something i didn't think he would like think of that a youtuber that has basically revolutionized being a philanthropist and he thinks that he's doing this for views and more for more of the money the popularity it's more of yet what jet said the guy thinks of why Mr. Beast is doing this and he also says that the videos could have been a lot longer if he enjoyed what he liked to do it is a serious hot topic and debate whether Jacepticeye is in the right or in the wrong but with all that aside that's just his opinion but yeah with all that being said just wanted to make a video about this I didn't think that two youtubers I have been so familiar with since my childhood would have an opinion on a different youtuber make a response to, I mean, make a response to that on Twitter and probably start a whole debate whether or not this youtuber is in the right or in the wrong for saying this but to me personally I don't feel like that disconnected with what Jacepticeye said so some of the responses make sense of the question that he was asked on while he was on the lie detector it's just that without the context and without, and without the backed up information and with, with to support that answer for the question it's just spot on misinformation and it sounds like a troll that's gonna be it for today's video hope you all enjoyed if you guys did leave a like subscribe comment down below what you think about the video this is without gray and i'll see y'all later see ya